Well, good morning, guys. Uh, this morning, uh, I got me myself a little job for now. In the meantime, that school ain't functioning, so went ahead and uh, came over to a friend of ours, and uh, we're gonna help him out in the shop. Yeah, build some engines, uh, get some trucks out of the way, stuff like that. Uh, I came in, and I'm gonna go ahead and start building an engine. Let me show you guys. This one here, guys, is a 6.4 Ford from a 2000, I believe it's a 2011-2012 Ford uh, Dually. Uh, yesterday, I did slap on those pistons. I didn't record it, sorry about that, guys. But uh, I went ahead and installed the pistons, and the lifters are already in place. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm getting the heads ready, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I can slap those heads on and get those rockers in place, and so on and so forth, and see how much of this one I can do today. Uh, clean out the timing cover yesterday. Uh, heads, they're not new, uh, they're not rebuilt. They're used heads. They're good used heads. I just clean up the mating surface where the gasket is. So that the new gaskets can seat, uh, set properly and no leak stuff like that. And uh, well, this here is going to be going into that Ford pickup. Uh, actual body is up in the air, so we can actually extract the engine. It's a lot easier. So uh, that's done right there. And uh, oh, there's other stuff that we're doing. There's a couple of trucks on the outside. That one's got oil leak, that one's got a water leak, and then there's a fuel truck. We'll get to those as we go. But for now, the owner of the shop told me that this is what he wanted done now. He needed it out of here, so let me see if I can finish up this engine in the next two days. Hopefully, we can get to installing this one sometime Monday. So let me go ahead and continue with this one guys. Oh, we removed that one. That one's been there for a while, so on and so forth. There's quite a bit of work here, so we'll see how much of this we can clear out before school starts. So let me go ahead and get to that engine. Because on this particular engine, uh, we're gonna be using ARP bolts. We're not gonna be using uh, studs sorry we're not going to be using the head bolts we're going to replace the head bolts we're going to use these studs and then of course a nut and a washer on top that lock up that head onto the block so we're going to get these screwed into the block first and then uh it'll be a little bit easier for us to get that uh head back in place all these studs in place you just slide it in so let me go ahead and get these bolts kind of set in it's got a little allen wrench on top you tighten these i'm not sure about the torque specs on the stud itself but let me go ahead and look into it and i'll get back with you guys as to how tight they go and uh well, continue with this got this side, this side they're just hand tight for now I haven't looked up the store torque space but let me go ahead and get the other side all right Well guys, all the studs are on this side, all the studs are on that side, and well, let me wait for those hip gaskets and see if I can get those on today. Alright, let me go ahead and uh, torque down those head bolts and continue with this. I couldn't get me installing the heads, my battery died, so I had to charge it up for a bit, but this is where we're at. Okay, so I got these to 70. 
had to loosen them up. Now I got them all at 115. Now it requires a 90 degree turn and then an additional 90 degree turn, turn and then those four little 10 millimeter bolts you tighten them to 23 and then you do 28 on both sides so let me go ahead and finish this up for this for that additional 90 the 290 degrees i'm going to use this little uh three foot little uh, breaker bar i'm going to use a torque wrench and mess it up so we're going to be using this little breaker bar to do that so let me go ahead and get that done Hey guys, that was the first 90 degree, now comes the other one, let me go ahead and get it done. Hey okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop this one here, we're going to go ahead and install the engine back in the truck, and then we'll do the final 90 degree in those head bolts, and torque those rockers, and of course, assemble the rest. Right now, I'm just going to add the timing cover, and we'll call it done, but that's it for today. Guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.